If you're a gun owner and you went to county, you need to watch this video. Hi guys, Aaron Dorr here with Wyoming Gun Owners. With the August 16 primary coming fast and early voting already underway, a lot of gun owners across the state are asking us, who is the pro-gun candidate where I live? This video today is about Senate District number 15. It's Uinta County, it's right down against the Utah border in the far southwest corner of the state. And we have a very fascinating dynamic here because both Senator Schuler and Representative Worf have been in, are currently in the legislature. So they both have a record that we can talk about. And the question you're asking us then is, is, is twofold. Number one, who's the pro-gun candidate? That's number one. And then number two, you're asking us, how do we know who to believe? Because it's Wyoming and a Republican Party primary, everybody claims to be pro-gun. Liz Cheney claims to be pro-gun, and she backed Nancy Pelosi's massive federal gun control bill just last month, a bill that Joe Biden recently signed. So everyone says they're pro-gun. How do we know who to believe? It's a very good question to ask, and we're going to answer that in this video. Now again, we're a 501c4, and we're not going to tell you guys who to vote for. What we're going to do in this video is pull back the curtain on these candidates and tell you, show you in detail what they've done in office for gun owners. From there, you guys can decide who you think the pro-gun candidate is. You guys can decide who you're going to cast your vote for. Now, sometimes these videos are kind of complex because sometimes we have an open seat race with no incumbent. Sometimes we have one incumbent and we have a challenger. In this case, both Wendy Schuler and Bob Worf are in office, so we have a record to talk about. Senator Schuler is the incumbent in this race. Representative Worf is challenging her. We're going to start with Wendy Schuler. Senator Schuler is telling everybody who will listen right now that she is pro-gun. In fact, to be very clear, Senator Schuler responded to the WIGO candidate survey with a 100% response. The question we always have to ask ourselves is, is this a situation where this candidate actually believes what they're saying or are they trying to play us? And so to, to examine that, we look at their previous votes and we say, do their votes in the past match up with their newfound professed support of the Second Amendment? We're looking for hypocrites. And in the case of Wendy Schuler, we found one. Senator Schuler says she's 100% pro-gun, but Wendy Schuler voted to mandate deadly gun-free zones here in Wyoming. In case anyone uh, doesn't believe us, the bill number, Senate file 75, this was 2019. The date was January 25, 2019. WIGO is always trying to expand your gun rights, and we're always trying to get rid of deadly gun-free zones. We all know why. These gun-free zones are lethal. Madmen always look for these gun-free zones to carry out their attacks because they figure people can't fight back here. We were this close to ridding Wyoming of our final gun-free zones, and Wendy Schuler stabbed us in the back when she voted to mandate those gun-free zones. Again, the bill number, Senate File 75, the date, January 25, 2019. You guys should look it up. But it gets a lot worse than that. You know, just last year, 2021, Joe Biden's in the first year of his time in the White House. We have the, the largest number of attacks against our gun rights in modern times coming out of the White House and out of Congress every single day, the way it seemed. And so here for Wyoming gun owners, we were working to pass the Second Amendment Preservation Act, SAPA for short. And you guys probably know what SAPA is by now. SAPA says that Wyoming troopers and deputies and city cops will not, cannot help Joe Biden enforce federal gun control. It says we're going to have our cops enforce our gun laws, our laws here in Wyoming. And if anybody violates SAPA law, like says the Cheyenne PD as an example, then gun owners could take that agency into civil court for damages. It's one of the best strongest SAPA laws of its kind. The similar law passed into law in Missouri two years ago, and we patterned this off of that law. What Wendy Schuler did 
was she was too afraid to vote no on SEPA because she watched what happened in 2020. And all the rhinos saw all of their friends like Michael Von Flatteren get crushed by pro-gun candidates. She was too afraid to vote no on the bill. So Wendy Schuler worked with the leadership rhino team in Cheyenne to run a harmful amendment that gutted the impact of SEPA, destroyed it. It took out the enforcement, it took out the teeth, it took out where and how it applied, and it gutted and destroyed the bill. This is a common tactic here in Cheyenne. The rhinos love doing this. They don't want to vote the bill down, so they gut it and they stuff it with garbage, and they say, here, here is your SAPA bill. Wendy Schuler, when all the conservatives voted against this harmful amendment, Wendy Schuler voted to stab us in the back. This is Senate File 81. The date was March 24, 2021. Heck, we even had the time, 12.06 p.m. This is amendment number one. Again, don't take our word for it. You can look it up for yourself. So every time we need her, every time we've counted on Wendy Schuler, she votes for gun control. Every time we need her to fight against the rhino leaders in her caucus, she jumps right into their pocket. And that's because Schuler is wholly owned by the rhino class here in Cheyenne. She is bought and paid for by those people, and she'll never vote against their wishes, even if that means she has to vote for gun control as she's done. That's Wendy Schuler. It's a pretty depressing picture of somebody who claims to be pro-gun. Now let's discuss Bob Worf. Bob Worf is one of those kind of guys who you just know when you talk to the guy, he cares deeply about the Second Amendment. Bob Worf has surveyed 100% pro-gun with Wyoming gun owners. That's no surprise. But what's far more important to us, even than the survey, and we care about that, but even more than that, so what will you actually do going forward? Well, the best indicator of that is what have they done in the past? In the case of Bob Worf, the record speaks for itself. Last year, 2021, Bob Worf was the lead sponsor on House Bill 116. This bill eventually passed into law, signed by the governor. House Bill 116 expanded Wyoming's constitutional carry law, which at that time only applied to Wyoming residents, and it applied it to every law-abiding citizen in the country. The problem we had was well-meaning gun owners would travel through our state, not knowing that constitutional carry only applied to residents, and they were getting jammed up uh, with a good faith mistake, thinking that they could also utilize constitutional carry. Bob Worf saw that problem, Bob Worf addressed that problem, and he got that bill signed into law, a major accomplishment in 2021. He was the lead sponsor of that bill. Then, in 2022, I'm sorry, 2020, Bob Worf was also the lead sponsor on the Second Amendment Preservation Act, House Bill 124. Remember I told you how Wendy Schuler voted to gut that bill and destroy it? At the same time Wendy Schuler was voting to crush SAPA law, Bob Worf was leading the fight for SAPA in the House, the lead sponsor on House Bill 124. Dozens of co-sponsors, the bill was ultimately killed by the rhino leadership over in the House, but Bob Worf was the guy of all the Republicans here in Cheyenne who led that fight for SAPA law. Same thing this year. Bob Worf was the lead sponsor on House Bill 133, the Second Amendment Preservation Act. Now, as you guys know, the rhino cl uh, class here in the Capitol took Bob Worf's SAPA bill, they crushed it, weakened it, dr dramatically weakened it, and they passed what was left of it because they're afraid of being hammered by gun owners at election time. But it was Bob Worf who delivered uh, that bill and got it as far as it was, and he took a lot of arrows in doing that. So every time we've needed Bob Worf to fight for gun owners, he's been there during his time in office. But Bob Worf's support for gun rights didn't just start the day he got sworn into office. In 2018, when we were leading the fight to pass Stand Your Ground law, it was Bob Worf who testified right beside me in committee, in all kinds of committee hearings, on Stand Your Ground law. 
At the time, Representative Worf worked for a uh, hunting and outfitters organization as their lobbyist, and he was right there going head to head with the Moms Demand Action uh, Group and Democrats in the legislature and the rhinos who were questioning Stand Your Ground law. He was there when we needed him most back in 2018. So when you look at this thing in context, you've got Wendy Schuler, who voted to mandate gun-free zones, voted to gut the Second Amendment Preservation Act because she is part of that rhino herd here in Cheyenne. Then you've got Bob Orff, lead sponsor, House Bill 116, lead sponsor, House Bill 124, lead sponsor, House Bill 133, fought for Stand Your Ground law. This is a man, every time gun owners have needed him to stand up in the gap for us, he stood there and he took those hits on our behalf. So if you see Bob Worf, be sure and thank him for fighting for gun owners for so many years here in Wyoming. And if you see Wendy Schuler, ask her, why did you vote with the Democrats to mandate deadly gun-free zones? Why'd you vote to weaken the Second Amendment Preservation Act? Why do you only seem to vote for gun bills when they're blessed by the leadership after they've been gutted in committee? Are you really pro-gun or are you trying to play gun owners for fools right now in advance of your primary? Guys, that's our report for this video. Do us a favor, share our video online. Facebook hates these videos. They're trying to crush the reach of these videos. Share them on Facebook, share them on Twitter, share them on all of your online profiles, forward them by email. And guys, join our fight today for freedom. Go to www.joinwigo.com.